How's it going, everybody? I'm back at Taffington Boathouse in Fallout 4. And this time I'm going to be building a, I guess, a sniper's nest. But it's I'm just going to say it's a guard area. I don't know. Uh, whatever I end up naming, naming it, that's whatever it is. Uh, but it's just kind of like a sniper's nest. The person is up here with the sniper and it it looks pretty similar to my previous builds but i think the more interesting uh part of this build would be the way that i built to actually get up on the roof of taffington boathouse so i decided to use the catwalks uh from the quarry this is from uso integrated uh in the scaffolding tabs uh past all the scaffolding pieces there are quarry uh, catwalks pieces and uh, these are actually really nice looking I think that they look great in the way that I use them I think that they can be used to get on top of I mean a lot of things you can use them in other builds too uh, but I really think that this was a really good use for it and right here you can see that I'm kind of just going through trying to decide how I want to do it and I end up deciding to extend the catwalk on this part uh, along the side of the building, which I think it ends up looking awesome. Uh, in the finished build, you guys are going to see it. Uh, but all I'm trying to do is make sure that this is even with that because I want to have plywood pieces connecting them uh, like this. And I end up turning that one. But... Uh, this is actually a, a really simple build, even though, like, it's a 15 minute long video almost. Uh, it still took me, like, maybe an hour to build this alone. Not the, not the stairwell, but this whole build. But it's just because I, I put a lot of detail into it, and also, uh, just, like, using the place anywhere mod it is super handy uh i have used it always but i just now started using it in my videos because it saves me time i realize that a lot like there's some people that don't use uh place anywhere a lot of people just don't like to use it uh, i used to not like to use it because it caused issues with my game uh it crashed my game uh, I lost builds because it would crash my game in the middle of uh, building something. And it it really pissed me off. So I was just like, I'm not going to use that. But with this new Place Anywhere tool, it's so handy. And it, it I, I, I assume that whoever made the mod uh, actually put patches out to fix whatever glitches were causing crashes. Because it it works so well now. And so I use this place anywhere tool to build a way up to the stairwell because the stairwells are not long enough to actually make it to the ground. So I try to build a pretty interesting like bottom portion for stairs uh, to get up on top of the building. So I pretty much put down a big pallet. Uh, or wooden pellet or whatever and then put some pellets on top of it and it fits about perfect and I thought about putting that ramp up to that point but I end up changing my mind which it would work that way I end up placing this down at the bottom though just to get on top of the wooden pellet because I had the idea of actually just putting stairs on the pallet and so I end up not putting that there I don't know why I'm messing with that so much because that's where I wanted it to be to, be to begin with. So I placed that there and you see I backed out and I'm going to the stairs tab and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that stair piece in front of the two pallets and it actually fits like perfect and I'm really pleased with how it actually turned out. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some junk fences or shack fences onto the side of the pallets like they just threw them on to make it a little bit safer and I trying to make it perfect 
and I'm just trying to get it lined up and I get it and then I go ahead and I do the same to the other side so my idea for this was I wanted to have the top be kind of like where the the guard for the settlement was and I actually end up getting rid of that wooden pa or that wooden plywood piece because it would be glitching through the side of the fence and yeah so now there's a pretty easy way to get up on to the quarry catwalks and then I go ahead and fence off this section and also uh, you'll see whenever I'm placing these that I that jump cut was because I actually maxed out my settlement build uh, limit in the top right you can see that it, I moved it down I went and uh, just uh, stored a couple weapons but then you see that I kind of leave it open so that they can walk out onto the roof uh, I just kind of did that just because I didn't want to leave that blocked off because you'll notice sometimes that settlers just walk wherever they want and it's it's frustrating so like sometimes I'll come into the settlement and they'll be spawned in on top of the house anyway uh, but I just left it open and uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build the little snipers nest that I was talking about and I use place anywhere to use these uh, ball track pillars or ball track supports uh, up there to hold the roof and I used to be able to actually place roofs on the ground with uh, un unlock settlement objects. Uh, some of the roofs that came with a uh, USO I could actually place on the ground. And so there's a cut here in a second because I messed with it for like 30 seconds trying to get uh, a roof to like actually place on the floor I end up having to put a wall down and uh, it just it took way too long but as you can see I'm boarding off the bottom because I want to have it fenced off and then like I said I just placed down a wall and then I I put a roof on top of it and I went with one of the ones that are kind of a thought about doing the one with the Minutemen but then I end up going with another uh, blue one and then I pillar glitch it which I just used the shack bridge because that was the closest thing to me stairs would work too uh, anything that just sinks into the ground lower than whatever you're trying to place closer to the ground works so it doesn't always have to be the concrete pillar I use the concrete pillar because uh, it's just really convenient it's very small and compact and so then I try to figure out how to actually use support the back because I wanted it to be supported, but also I wanted it to not sink into the floor too much. Because the floor below it is super thin because it's just plywood pieces. So I had to go with the barn uh, pieces. I, I could have done the scaffold, or not scaffolding, but the warehouse pieces. But I chose the barn ones because they're wooden and I thought that it fit better than the metal ones in the warehouse tab but I'm just going ahead and uh, placing these supports on the back end of the building and getting it to look like it's being supported on both the front and the back the only problem I have with these is the texture I just think it doesn't look good it bothers me and they are a little too tall, as you can see, but I don't mind that. Uh, that doesn't bother me. It's just really the texture. So then I did a little bit of decoration that I thought I'd show you guys uh, how I would use the space up here. And so I just imagined that this would be storage. And so pretty much all I'm doing is I'm going through and throwing down some wooden crates and uh, different boxes and stuff in the side parts because those are supported and those have actual wooden floors and I figured that that would probably be actually a good place for storage anyway I mean it's kinda like when people I mean people store stuff in their attics why can't they do that here with just wooden crates or something like that and so I just went ahead and I 
scattered these around uh, each of the four corners that have space available for this kind of stuff. And I put some barrels, and I, I think it ends up looking really good because I don't just use those wooden crates. I do mix it up. I use other uh, storage containers and stuff, and then uh, it ends up coming together really well. It looks like actual storage uh, area in a wasteland. You kind of just throw your boxes and your crates and stuff all in one area to keep your things keep all your supplies and stuff and I mean what makes more sense than to have the guard up with the su the majority of your supplies cuz uh whenever I do the final tour of this settlement you guys will notice that there's kind of just supplies scattered everywhere around the house and to kind of break that up and make you instead of just having all of the supplies sitting around the house in random spots I went ahead and I uh I had an issue placing the box there, so I went ahead and didn't do that. But whenever I do the final tour, which will be the next video, there's uh, I'm I'm finished with this settlement because I'm starting to have um, just frame rate issues in the settlement. I don't want to just kill the frames in this settlement where I can't come here because I really do enjoy the settlement. I think that it turned out really good uh, it's kind of rp heavy but i still think that it it looks awesome and so i wanted it to be a minuteman settlement because i mean all of my settlements are no matter what even if it's just it looks like a completely different kind of build or whatever they're probably going to be minuteman settlements because i think that the minuteman is probably the best thing like in the commonwealth for the people. Uh, Preston Garvey is annoying, but as you can see, uh, I think that it turned out so well. I'm super pleased with how that staircase like goes up to the top of the building. It just looks so perfect to me. I think that that was the best way that I could have actually provided a way up to the roof. Uh, the only other way that I think that I could have done it is if I'd gone around the back and entered on the other side and then had it facing out, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, I still think that this provides a perfect way up to the roof. I think that this was the best way uh, either way, but if you guys like this build, make sure you let me know. Check out some of my other builds. Um, I record my videos ahead of time. Uh, so on the weekends, that's why I stopped recording, uh, or st stopped uploading Saturday and Sunday, was because I spend those days to record my videos and edit uh, for the week of, and then I'll upload them all, and I uh, I try to get everything done over the weekend, and if I if I don't, then I have to yeah. rush during the week, and I I have I have work and uh, all sorts of stuff that I have to do. I'm pretty busy during the week, so I can't always be accurate with, with what I'm saying about what's going on at the cha on the channel at this time, but we're really close to 100 subs. Uh, whenever I checked last, I think I have 92 or 90 or something like that but it's still like that's that's incredible to me like to have even that close to a hundred people watching my videos like blows my mind but hopefully we can hit a hundred uh, I appreciate it so much like you guys have no idea but like I said if you guys like this build uh, check out some of my other builds and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one